No, I, 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 so yeah, about you mean Michael Bay former movies? Is yes, that, yes, yes, yes. I, I, okay, yes. now all right. The, all right the, like the energy level, importance level, this conversation is dropping quickly, but I will answer. <laughs> um, the uh, um, I, I, you know, I did the the video game for the first. It was Traveler's Tales game, and, and the, the work I did on it, they didn't really have an engine that could do most of the uh, cinematics and stuff. So very little of that exists in the real world. So I was not unaware of that stuff when it came out. You know, I was doing a game that was supposed to release day and date with the first Transformer movie. Um, you know, I, I have a much more charitable attitude towards Mr. Bay than, than a number of the people, you know, that I talk to do. This material's hard. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's very tricky material in a lot of ways. And, you know, after after Transform, the first Transformer movie, I thought got more right than it than than it got wrong, because uh, after this, yeah, you know, I worked for Steven. I wrote uh, Steven Spielberg. I wrote like Fievel and and Tiny Toons when it was a movie and stuff like that for him. So I could really feel his presence in the first one because he was the pro executive producer, and and it had a lot more heart. But uh, you know, what I would really say is. Yeah, I, I could quibble in a million places, and I would even argue that the last Transformers movie, I don't even remember what the subtitle of it was, the one, you know, like a year ago. What was it called? The Last Night. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. what happened last night? But anyway, so, um, no, I mean, what I really thought is that there were like five kind of really good ideas for a Transformer movie hidden in there, and, and you know, and... They didn't make any of those. They just made all five part of a good idea for a Transformer movie. Mm. Um, I mean, like a World War One Transformer movie, I'm in. You know, I, I'd, I'd love to see that. You know what I mean? Like the steampunk Transformers, I'm there. It, uh, you know, the undersea one, I always love that stuff. I mean, you know, we never really explored the ship. And I was always trying to do it. The ship that was... Uh, that the Decepticons lived in under the water. You know, I, I viewed that as a perfect game dungeon, you know, and really wanted to, you know, to explore that in an episode. And just, it was just one of those things we never got around to doing. But, you know, I, and so, so I liked what he was trying to do in that. And I'd say in many ways that was, people think that's the least of the movies. But I, I have a much more, I, I understood what his challenges were. He did a lot of things right. I never liked what they looked like. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I mean, you know, I understand how I totally understand how he got to where he got to. It's just I, I, I don't know it was the right place, but I, I have a lot of respect for what he did, too. Got you. Thank you. Appreciate you, gentlemen. Okay.